we have a winner. hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you had a great week yeah week because this video is supposed to go up on friday i hope you had a productive week a blessed week so today i am going to show you what 10,000 shillings which is 100 usd what it can get you in the largest mall in sub-saharan region which is two rivers that is in kenya nairobi stay tuned Watch the video I filmed for you last week at Two Rivers Mall and then we'll be back and we'll talk about Rwanda changing their national language to Swahili and dropping French. I don't think I understand how this is supposed to be. I don't get it. I've been trying. Like, what? I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I actually like this. I don't know. I think it looks good. Simple. Fake, but I like it. This does not fit me well. Yeah. No. This one I'm not crazy about. But the price makes me like it. Guess how much this is? It is 400 chips. It's four dollars. Four dollars. <laughs> I'm not crazy about it, but the price makes me want to get it. You know. I like this one too. The only thing is it's a bit loose on me and I couldn't find a smaller size. I love this. I like 
like the detail. Finally, I found something that fits. We have a winner. I must say, it's nice having a big mall and all, but like walking all those floors, walking on those massive stores, oh, it was really tiring. I think I spent like four to five hours just looking at things and then eating probably two hours. So I pretty much spent the whole day at the mall. But anyways, if you're interested, let me show you what I got. This I got at Miniso. Doesn't look like anything, does it? But wait. Ta-da! It's actually a mirror. I got these shoes from Vata. I don't know if you can see it. I love it. I got it for 3,000 shillings, which is $30. This one I got for $5. So next we have Mr. Price. This is like my favorite store of all times because it's really cheap. No lie. Like this earring. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I think you can see. This earring I got for $2. Next we got this jeans. Well, I don't know if I can call it jeans. What is it called? It just says trousers, navy. So yeah, this navy trouser I got for 1,690 shillings means what, like $16? Yeah. So here it is. I love it from a store called LC Waikiki. It's like a Turkish uh, store. And then this jeans. I got from the same store for 1,500 shillings, which is like $15. I love it. And this top, again, I got from the same store. From this store. I got this top. The only reason why I got this top is because of this bedazzling going on. This I got from Zara. Here it goes by the name platform, but it's basically Zara. That was, I didn't tell you, sorry. This top was 790, which is $7. $8, say $8. And this one is $9. And then this bodysuit. $9. Um, from Zara and the last item I got is nine dollars again yep there you go how many things did $100 get me here in Kenya one two three four five six seven the earring eight this nine I think that's a great deal. What do you think? Okay, so Rwanda. I don't know if you guys have heard, but there was speculation, news going on all over Twitter, all over the gram, and on the blog sites that Rwanda decided to drop French from their national language and go with Swahili. Well, as you know, French and English are um, a national language for Rwanda. And so they've adopted Swahili, actually not now. People are saying that they've just adopted it. No, that's not true. They've adopted it. The parliament um, decided to do that in 2017. So they've actually uh, included it in their curriculum and Swahili is now part of their um, language, one of the four languages and their official language, which is Kenya Rwanda. I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it so they had four now they have four languages including Swahili that is Swahili French English and Kenya Rwanda 
so basically uh, it has been going around especially this week and last week that um, Rwanda has decided to drop French from the national language from what I have researched no not not really actually they haven't dropped it but just made Swahili uh, one of their uh, languages and that's what happened so there you go but let's talk about the fact that they've included Swahili in their national language I in my opinion is like I think it's a great thing uh, that can happen uh, for Africa especially because we don't have our own language the continent doesn't have their own language that everybody can understand there's only English mostly and the Western uh, Western African regions mostly speak French the French colonies speak French the English English and um, Ethiopia even though co not colonized we speak English because that's part of our curriculum and that's part of um, our educational system so that's it so I love the idea that Rwanda is embracing Swahili because now if other Africa, even South Africa uh, recently uh, made Swahili part of their um, curriculum as well so kids can now learn Swahili along with English and which is also a great thing so in Africa basically the most spoken language like common language is Swahili, Ki Swahili. The more Africans speak that language the more we can have a common language that we can communicate with each other so for now we don't have that we have English and French so um, I applaud Rwandan Parliament for passing this and making sure that um, their people now can speak Swahili which means that already Ugandan Tanzanian people already speak that language you know and Kenyan so the fact that Rwanda now can join that club can give us I, I believe that's a benefit so I really hope even like Ethiopia my country um, other countries can um, jump on board and start making this um, a thing and including it in our schools in our part of our language so that it's not just English that we can communicate with and we have a language that every African can understand African Union in 2004 actually made Swahili uh, one of the official languages for the AU, which is great. The reason why I'm saying Swahili specifically is because already um, most Sub-Saharan countries speak Swahili and they're already communicating with that language. So wouldn't it be easier if we just add the rest of the African continent to jump on board and have a language that we can all understand each other with? I think it's a good idea but anyways tell me what you think down below and we can have a discussion and I am currently trying to learn Swahili I know Kidogo <laughs> which means a little anyways thank you for watching this video I highly appreciate it Asanti which means thank you in Swahili I'll see you on the next one like subscribe share my videos I will see you on the next one have a blessed day thank you bye